back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to do the shake or jerk effect on Video Star. Now, if you're on Musical.ly or... Now, if you're on TikTok or Like or any social media app, you've seen this effect. It's used in a lot of slow-mos and sass videos. If you don't know what I'm talking about, here's an example. Okay, so um, I muted the video because I don't want to get demonetized. Um, but uh, you guys see what's going on here? Like, you know, the shake and everything. Like, Tons of people use this effect and I want to teach you guys how to do it. Now, if you don't want to follow all of these steps, I'm going to be leaving QR codes at the end of the video that you guys can use. And if you don't know how to use the QR codes, I will also be providing a tutorial at the end of the video how you can apply the QR codes. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so before we get into all of the tutorials and stuff, I know that some of you guys may not have the money to pay for Video Star, or you just really don't want to get Video Star, or maybe your parents don't allow you to get Video Star, which is exactly why I'm going to be giving away one $20 Apple iTunes gift card. With a $20 Apple iTunes gift card, you could get three months of Video Star for free. How will you be able to win, you may ask? Well, all you have to do is like this video and comment down below, Halo Haley is the best muser. <laughs> and that, that's all you have to do. Just like the video and comment that specific line and I will be selecting a winner in my next YouTube video. Also, like, you, you know, you don't have to get video star with the, with, with the gift card, you know, like you could really get anything you wanted, but I recommend video star, especially if you want to do the shakes and QR codes and stuff like that. Anyways, let's get into the tutorial. Now obviously, the first thing that you want to do is import your clip, and I'm using a clip that I filmed a couple of days ago as an example, so yeah. So once you've imported your clip, you want to go to the part where you want the shake to happen and then you want to split the clip. Now you don't want the shake to last the entire video, so you want to split it again into a little part. You then click new and then multi-layer clip and import your clip. So there are multiple ways you can do the shake, but my favorite way to do it is by turning the clip around a little bit and then dragging it up. And then you go to the end of the video and drag it back to the center. The most important thing to do is add path at the end of the clip. So you want to scroll down until you find this one in the middle here. After you've done the path there, you want to do the exact same thing with the turn. So you go to the bottom and then scroll until you find the one on the left. Your shake will then look like this. And obviously you don't want the black to be shown, so just add some mirror. To complete your shake, you want to enter the color section and scroll until you find tracking blur. And then you have your shake. A simple shake that you can do as well is by dragging the clip up at the start and then going to the end of the video and dragging it back down. Now, depending on how hard you want your shake to be, you can either select the one on the left, middle or right. But if you want a nice hard shake, you select the one on the right. And don't forget to add the tracking blur, otherwise it'll look a little choppy. And also you can add some zoom. So all you need to do at the start is zoom the clip in and then drag it all the way down. Then you go to the end of the clip, zoom it back out and drag it back up to the center. With the zooming in, you don't want to add any of the bumpy paths, otherwise it'll just look really weird, so just select that one. But with the path at the top, you still want to add the bumpy one. Now this is optional, you don't have to do this, but you can add some turn at the start if you wanted to, to add some zest. At the end of the turn, you want to select the bumpy path, obviously.
Another way you can do this is by dragging your clip to either the left side or the right side and then dragging it back to the center. And then adding the bumpy path, obviously. And obviously, if you want to experiment with this, you can do the zoom or the turns as well. And now I'm going to be teaching you guys how to import the QR codes. So you go into a multi-layer clip, select your clip, but you don't want to enter keyframes. You want to click the QR code at the top here and select import. You then import your code and it's imported onto the video. It's really that easy. Here are two QR codes that I made especially for you guys. So make sure you screenshot them because right now, like right now, I am going to be, guess what? Giving you a QR code tutorial as well. Bonus. Oh! Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below on what video you would like me to do next or what tutorial you'd like to know. Stuff like that. And I'll see you guys in the next YouTube video. Bye.